Hi, I'm Jenna Lane, your Bucks insider for SportstalkFlorida.com. For the second time in three weeks, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are playing before a national audience. But for the first time this season, they're off the field issues between embattled head coach Greg Schiano, the reports of the MRSA, and a quarterback who's no longer here in Josh Freeman are not the big ticket item. Instead, that would be this week's opponent, the Miami Dolphins, who had uh, reports surfacing this past week of bullying within their organization. But let's not forget, folks, that this is an 0-8 Buccaneers football team who is in danger of losing their head coach if they don't straighten up. This week offers a prime opportunity for the Bucks to get in there and get some sacks against an offensive line that has given up 35 sacks, the highest in the league already this season. That's an average of over four sacks per game. Meanwhile, though, the Bucks, for their defensive line, they've only been able to generate two sacks in the last five games from their defensive linemen. So certainly this is an opportunity for the Bucks defensive line to step up and really harass quarterback Ryan Tannehill. Now, aside from what's going on in the trenches, you've got Darrell Rivas, who says in these last two weeks, He's really made headway on the recovery of his torn ACL, playing a lot more of his favorite man press coverage, which is where he excels. And we should certainly see a lot of that as he goes up against both Brian Hartline and Mike Wallace, which are two of the league's best wide receivers. Bottom line though, after talking to guys in the locker room here in Tampa, they know what's going on down south in Miami. They understand that they have an opportunity to kick an opponent while they're down but they said regardless of these off-the-field distractions for them, they are expecting the Dolphins' best. Reporting from Tampa with Sports Talk Florida, I'm Jenna Lane.